Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another MM Aviation video. A Ukrainian aircraft carrying at least 170 people crashed on Wednesday shortly after takeoff from Tehran's main airport, killing all on board. The plane had taken off from Iman Kohenin International Airport in the Iranian capital. The crash is suspected to have been caused by mechanical issues. An investigation team was at the site of the crash in southwestern outskirts of Tehran. Civil a aviation spokesperson Reza Jafar Zadeh said, After taking off from Imar Komini International Airport, it crashed between Parant and Shariara, he said. An investigation team from the National Aviation Department were dispatched to the location after the news was announced. Flight data from the airport showed a Ukrainian 737-800 flown, flown by Ukrainian International Airlines took off on Wednesday morning, then stopped sending data almost immediately afterwards. Associated Press journalist who reached the crash site saw a wild field of debris scattered across farmland. The dead lay among shattered pieces of the aircraft. Rescuers in, mas in masks shouted over the noise of hovering helicopters as they work. The crash came hours after Iran launched a ballistic, ballistic missile attack targeting two bases in Iraq, housing US forces in retaliation for the killing of Revolutionary Guard General Qasim Soleimani. The Boeing 737-800 is a very common single-aisle twin-engine jet line, liner used for short to medium-range flights. Thousands of the planes are used by airlines all around the world. Introduced in the late 1990s, it is an older model of that. It is a older model than the Boeing 737 Max, which has been grounded for nearly 10 months following the death, following two deadly crashes. A number of 737-800 aircraft have been involved in deadly accidents over the year. That is all the news we have at the moment. If there's any more news on this um, crash, I'll be sure to update you. Thanks for watching this video of mine. It would be well appreciated if you would like, subscribe, comment and share. Once again, thanks for watching this video and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day.